What's up, Ben? A couple of rival thugs and the undesirables have been populating the strip lately. It's bringing business down. So, uh, Frank wants me to... I mean, Frank wants you to go send them a message that they ain't wanted. Any questions? Nope. Good. If you need me, I'll be home eating ribs. This me too. It don't matter.
All right, Benny. It's done. Huh? Oh, yeah! Nice! Frank will be proud of me. Proud of you? Yeah. For sending a message to the other gangs that they ain't wanted on the strip. Just like he asked me to do. Well, good. I'm happy for you. Hello? Hey, it's... Uh, it's me. Benny? Shh! Listen. We need to take care of something. Fast and quick. There's a reporter. I mean, a horse. Yeah, a horse that rode a load, a load of hay that he wants to feed the papers. So now he needs to be taken to a farm in Wyoming. You'll find him in the industrial district. Is there a reason you're talking like this? Hey, it's not your job to ask questions. It's your job to take horses to Wyoming. Can I help you with something? I'm here on behalf of Frank. Frank Valiano. Is this... is this about the racketeering thing I'm writing? Cause, uh... <laughs> I don't... I, I... I can burn that up if he... No! <laughs> go when they're taken to Wyoming. If they're good, they go to the pasture. Well then, for his sake, I hope he was a good horse. Hey, Ben. Jay, you need to get over to the Phalanx Casino now. Not in the mood for craps, Benny. I just got a tip from a good source. Bunch of cartel thugs are on their way over here to heist the place. I need some backup. Benny, it's not worth it, man. Just step aside and let Frank get robbed. Who cares? I, I care. I swore an oath, Jason. I take that stuff seriously. Besides, if the phalanx gets hit, Frank will be looking to roll some heads. I don't want him to have any excuse to roll mine. Fine. I'm on my way. Oh, hurry!
Weapon over there, and let's get ready to defend the place. Seriously, couldn't have done it without you. Frank's lucky to have a guy like you, Benny. Oh, I don't know about that. Anyway, I gotta clean this mess up. See you around. Look who it is. Glad to see you too, asshole. Believe it or not, I am glad to see you. I'm sponsoring a boat in this charity race, but unfortunately, my driver's at home in a full body cast. Right now, seems he had a problem with keeping up with some debts he owed to some unsavory folks. Bummer. You know how to drive a boat? Yeah. Great. You're my guy. Get out there and have fun in the name of charity. Oh, and uh, finish first or I'll cut your scrotum off. Yeah. Hey, Jay. It's Racer Girl. That you driving the Rev's boat? Uh, yeah. Hot stuff out there. If you want to make some more waves, I can set you up with some other boat races at some point. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Cool. Later, Tater.
shootout last night on the Spanish Strip. Police dispatch said the Huevos were using MP5s. So? So, the Huevos get their guns from my guys. I do not allow them to have automatics, which means they're dealing with somebody else behind my back. I am not letting them get another foothold. Not in Vegas. I need to know who the Huevos are dealing with. Who is their connection? So you're gonna head over to Taco Town, and you're gonna kidnap a lieutenant by the name of Frisco. Then you're gonna bring that little prick to me, understood? Heavy Ben here, Hip Hop King.
Shut up back there! Yeah. I got him in the trunk. Nice. Park the car outside my joint and leave the keys under the seat. My fellows will deal with the rest. When am I done, Frank? What did you say? When is this over? When am I done? Oh, whenever you feel like being done, Jason. By all means. Take your fucking leave. Got any other questions for me? No. Good. Keeping it real in the hood. Jason, I've been having a rough time of it this campaign season. I've noticed. Now it seems my bad luck is seeping into my personal affairs as well as my private. A few years ago, I uh, enticed a few unsavory individuals to set up shop in the neighborhood had my sights on. Once I bought up most of the property, at a quarter of the price, mind you, Frank made it clear to Los Picantos that they had to go. But these folks are nothing if not stubborn. They won't leave. I got an accountant authorized to make a few deals and negotiations on my behalf, meeting with these guys later, cause I really can't afford a turf war in this area right now. So where do I come in? I need you to make sure this thing goes smoothly. And if they don't go smoothly, I need you to make sure my guy gets out of there alive. Head to the meeting spot, scope it out, make sure no double crossing or triple crossing or whatever the fuck goes down. All right, yeah, sure. Not perfect.
Goodman. A couple of snipers were in position, but I took them out. Who were they working for? No idea. All right, well, uh, keep an eye on things. I'm sending my boy in. If things go south and he gets killed, you might as well put a bullet in your own brain because you are a dead man. Come on, guys. Wrap it up already. Ah, oh, shit! Got the rest. Things went bad, but you guys okay. And what about our friend? Uh, I kind of took him out. How many? Like, uh, all of them? Damn, son! Maybe that'll put the fear of God in him, and they'll take a hint. And in about 12 months, I'll be watching the value of my property go up, and up, and up. You can just go ahead and give me my share now if you want. <laughs> you yeah. you all right, kid? You all right? Hey, Jason. I'm I'm glad you're here. Everything okay, Ben? This is probably my last day alive. So, uh I just want to state for the official on the record and such that uh Frank did wrong by you. What are you talking about, last day alive? Frank told me to hit up some supply drops and stashes, right? From some of the other families and outfits running around Vegas. So I got a guy following their couriers around. Problem is that if my guy's tailing the couriers, no one's actually picking up what they're dropping off. Don't worry, Ben. I'll help you out. Oh, you're the best. I'll text you the locations. Las Vegas. Gang leaders associated with Los Picantes have been spotted at the scene. Police are urging residents and visitors to stay clear of Western Las Vegas until the area is secure. And, as Police Chief Ralph Watkins put it, quote, the trash is taken out, or as the situation progresses.
Jay. Seriously. Thanks. I won't forget this. Sure, Ben. Oh, good, you made it. Uh, come on, you drive. I, uh, I gotta finish working on something. You seem nervous, Ben. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just trying to finish putting this thing together. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just not great with explosives. Wait, what? That's a bomb? I told you. We're gonna blow up a trailer park. With that? That thing looks like an eggplant. Plastics. Old school. Don't worry. I think I got it all hooked up right. What did Frank tell you to do? That guy you kidnapped finally spilled his beans. So Frank tells me, Benny, you dumb shit. The Huevos are meeting in the Street of Dreams trailer park. I want you to crash the party. Gotcha. So I'm what? Protection? No, uh, you're like a, a diversion. You're gonna set up this here explosive and... Uh oh What? What? It's ticking. What? Throw it out the window! Throw it out the window! Wait, no. It's my watch. Anyway... You're gonna set this explosive up in front. When you trigger it, Los Huevos will be running around all startled and confused like. You take them out, right? Meanwhile, I'm sneaking the back and I'm stealing this package. So, there's a package? Yeah, yeah, there's this package we gotta get. Supposed to lead us to whoever's supplying Los Huevos behind Frank's back or something. Fine. Set up them charges by that post over there. Hold them off till I give you a ring. They're probably packing assault rifles, so uh, try not to get shredded into a pile of bloody coleslaw. Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're good. Meet me around back.
I'm good, just, uh, let's go. We gotta meet Frank. You drive. Turn the air on. It is on. What's the matter with you? Everything's all tight-like. Feels like I'm underwater. I don't know. That's probably just the chili dogs I have for breakfast. Keep driving. I gotta ask you something. Shoot. You ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night and, like, feel like you, you got ghosts on all sides of you, trying to smother you with pillows and whatnot? Hmm. Can't say I do, Ben. I was reading this book the other day about, like, people who are connected to the spirit world and whatnot. And they got, like... The hell was that? Huh? There's someone in the trunk. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, the package. You didn't tell me the package was a person. You didn't ask. So yeah, I'm reading this book, and you wouldn't believe what actually happened when you turn off the Benny, who's back there? The person who was dealing with huevos. Someone Frank's not happy with, that's all that matters. So, I'm reading this book by this spirit medium lady, and she's like... Oh, forget it. Just drive! Hey, this is the place. Stop the car. Get out and hang back. So hey, Jay, listen. Pop the trunk, will you? No! Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Okay, calm down. You're gonna go with Mr. Lester here, all right, sweetheart? You're gonna be a good girl. Ho-ho! <laughs> <laughs> ho You hear that, boys? She says she's in love with you. <laughs> management, or she gets her little friend's head in a box. Vera, I'm here. Search the hangars.
not here. No. If they did bring her here, they're gone now. Damn. All right, listen. Meet with E-Man. He might be able to help out. All right. Lay low for now. I'll be in touch.